So I just feel like it's successful. <laughs> it's successful because we're entertaining each other. <laughs> Anybody else who gets entertained is just icing on the cake. <laughs> well, is it a video podcast or is it just a vlog? I don't know the difference. I don't know either. See, this is this is how prepared we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there you go. We've identified there, our main. There you have it, everyone. We have no idea what we're doing. Welcome to the show. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, I'm Lauren Stanek. And I'm Jody Smith Anderson. And this is Subject to Change. <laughs> and it's always the same and always different. I know. We're the constants. Other things are going to be different. Yeah, that is yeah. true. That is true. And we're still trying to figure out what we want to accomplish with this or what we want to get out of it. I'm uh, maybe starting from a position of selfishness. I want to reconnect with all the people that I know are doing great work and I haven't talked to them or I've talked to them only in passing. And then this gives me a chance to reach out to them and, and say, hey, what is it that matters to you? What a great opportunity to find that out from you and from, from everybody that I've worked with over the years. Right. And I think for me, I've been really wanting to kind of reconnect with my research roots. It's been so long since I've done so much, you know, reading and research and really diving into um, what's kind of current and cutting edge that's out there. And, you know, what are, what are the next things we should all be looking to know about and learn about and, you know, implement into our practices, whatever those practices are. Cause I think our goal is really to like expound upon, I mean, we're not just going to talk about the built environment here, right? No, right. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Um, I think it's incredibly exciting because every time, I mean, it, it's already happened in the couple of interviews we've done where somebody has said their hero and you're, you're like, Oh yeah, I got to write that down and look at it. And I think it will help me get out of the rut that I, might have created for myself or might have been created for me. And those new ideas, they just open you up to more new ideas, right? I agree. <laughs> I know. And then, and then, you know, that education of like, Oh, hey, you know, that's something that I can implement somewhere else in my life, right. you know, just to kind of, you know, make us more holistic in our approach towards sustainability. I love that idea and that concept. Yeah. I guess I'm nervous about, well, if you don't try, you don't fail, but you also don't succeed. So I'm not really nervous about it. I just feel like, how do we, how do we get the word out? Right. So from where I sit, mm -hmm. I feel like it's already a success, right? For me, because for my own selfish reasons, I get to talk to my friend Jody every week. <laughs> so <laughs> check, awesome. there's one point in the pro column. Um, but I think also, like you said, reconnecting with people and learning more. So just to learn, just to learn for my own personal gain is kind of enough for me. And if somebody else learns from it, well, that's just a bonus. I mean, that's cool. That kind of makes, that kind of makes the outreach an added benefit that, and, and the, and the purpose of this is the, the reconnection and the learning from people and the, the engaging in our own innovation and excitement. I'm all about that's great. <laughs> yeah. So is there something is there some kernel of information that you're that you're that you're reaching for? I'm trying to think if I'm reaching for something in particular. I really think that what I'm reaching for is um kind of gaining this sense of community and really listening and learning and you know adjusting my sail uh, so to speak, so that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm in tune with what's going on and what people are dealing with so that I can help address it in my own practice. So answer, answer your own question. What is it? Do you have any kind of, Oh, you know? yeah. I think that what I'm looking for, I probably tend to get into theory and storytelling more than I ever expected myself to. Mm -hmm. And I'm still a, you know, an architect and a building science, I don't know, I won't say expert, but a building science savvy. Um, and I love the technical aspects, but I feel like the world at large is missing more of the generalist kind of approach. So I'm curious, I think I know 
most of the people that we plan on talking to, but I'm sure we're going to find a lot of people that I haven't talked to. And I hope I find other people that are actually content being generalists and understanding the big picture while they're working on the details and connecting bigger. And maybe that'll help me gain insights for how to make those connections more acceptable to people and uh, more successful overall in projects and in policy and in, you know, buying soap at the store. <laughs> <laughs> I never work at one level. That would be boring. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. So we're, we're creating a, 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 a broad base approach, right? I actually like the, 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 the celebration of the work that's being done too. I mean, I, this has probably already come out in some of the interviews. I get very frustrated and I do it to myself as well. When people kind of underplay their value in, in the work that's being done. Mm -hmm. I think we've been trained to do that because sustainability has been treated like a fluffy thing for the last 30 years. And it's only in the last 10 that people have taken it seriously. And it's only in the last three or four that people are starting to panic. <laughs> right. And, 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 everyone on the planet thinks that there's like a solution and and we recognize that it's it's a million solutions right and that all the work that's being done by all of the people we plan to interview at whatever level that work is happening needs to be held up because it can be emulated and it can make make more good things accomplished right I think that if this project were to go brilliantly well, I would love, I would love, you know what I would love? I would love to see us start to engage with different states, different leaders in different states, different, different, you know, even, you know, federal level organizations, not just to learn kind of about the background, maybe about like what they're doing and what they're thinking and some of the overarching plans and goals are, but I'd really like to start to, you know, I thought Diane Branley's interview, which is actually going to air after this, um, <laughs> after this airs, but I yeah. thought she kind of put it brilliantly well that, um, you know, grassroots efforts are really what starts to create the change. Mm -hmm. And I'd love to see for the people who come on and get interviewed in our podcast, well, whatever we want to call this video cast. I don't know what this is called. Um, I'd love to see us start to create movement in other organizations and other type of governing structures to kind of um, be the pulse, maybe be the pulse, be the headwind of what it is we're trying to accomplish, broad, broad scope and sustainability. That would be like best case, we are rock star scenarios. Yes, absolutely. That's, I think. that's, that's a great, great vision for this. I think that that kind of aligning with that is the idea that that not only are we going to start to connect with people at different levels and, and maybe it's governments but that we will also be able to revisit them so that the process of this subject to change will also illustrate the changes in their work as they go forward right. so maybe every year we, we we focus on half a dozen people that we've met and call them back and say, well, you know, it's been close to a year or it's been six months or whatever. What's changed for you? And that we make it that focused. I think the thing that I want, I want to achieve, if everything goes perfectly well, is to help people understand that, that all of this work is subject to change and it's a process. Being jazz musicians and turning them into even greater successes. So we've got this little goof and then it becomes this incredibly positive bit of inspiration for the next step, you know? Right. I think um, two, two things that you've also just said kind of um, to reiterate it, I think to bring back some of those conversations that we know are starting to create change. I mean, really that that's a celebration, right? And a lot right. of the work that we're gonna be doing or a lot of the work that everybody's doing right now in the world of sustainability it's really incremental. You're back. Change of scenery, everyone. It's pouring down rain outside. 
needed to like, change venues. <laughs> Just letting you know. <laughs> Welcome to my dining room. <laughs> to see the change on Erie Boulevard is like so exceptional. And yeah. I'd love to hear his take on not just the process, but really to celebrate the final end result. I think that would be really cool. All right, I'm going to start with me. What do I think is, is the biggest challenge or the, the tick or the tendency that, that I have that I probably will be cursing myself ab about as I see these videos going forward? And probably it's that I tend to ask questions all the time and then then i get to answer after the questions asked and i've already done it in this interview like three times <laughs> no i like it though because it's a discussion i mean at the end yeah. of the day we're friends right at the end of right. the day we're friends we've known each other for years yeah. and um i you know the it's really funny because i i've been going through this process right like i have a morning routine that i do and a lot of it um, a lot of it starts to focus on like being in the moment and being present and, you know, kind of activating that part of the brain. And I find, I actually, my, I, I'm going to answer your question kind of with responding to your question. I find that at this point so far in our interviews, I've prepped very minimally. Like I know almost nothing because I really want to be in the moment when I'm doing the interview. And I find that my Personally, I find that right now my answers feel much more genuine because they're not rehearsed. They really are off the cuff. It's the first thing that comes to mind. I don't know anything that you're going to ask. Our listeners only know two questions, right, that are going right. to get asked. I like it. I, I like being put on the spot because sometimes you truly make me think about things that I've not considered before. And so for me, I have to come up with this answer like pretty quickly. And um, afterwards I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I actually, that's, that's true. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. I felt the same way when you were interviewing me, it was like, I, I didn't worry about what the questions might be. I listened to what you were saying and said, yeah, well, I can see why that's a great question. And and where parts and pieces of the work that I'm doing apply. Okay, yeah, this makes sense to me. And then I like also when we flub. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the fact that I said your name wrong in your interview, I think was, it set the tone of, of connection and being relaxed the rest of the interview. <laughs> if I had a dollar for every time somebody pronounced my name wrong, it's good. We got it out of the way because everybody's going to say my name wrong until they watch this podcast. And then everyone's now going to say it right. It's, it's probably the best thing that's ever happened to me. How awesome <laughs> is that? Well, we're talking about our evolution. I think that we should have that music talking about our evolution. I feel a song. I feel songs coming on. So I think that probably a follow-up to this um, is that we hope there's some way that in a couple of weeks or a couple of months, we can reach out to some people who have taken part and watched the videos and find out from them what they want from this process. Yes, that would that's be a great cool. idea. Yeah. So, so if we, I mean, that's the thing that we probably haven't done enough is, is planning on how to administer all of this. But, but if we do a, a YouTube channel and if people can subscribe, then we have a, even a resource through a video to say, here's our email, write us and let us know. Yeah, I guess have a great week until next time. Yeah, and we're as always subject to change. Together we'll make big change. Excellent, all right. Take care. Have a good week, Jody. Bye. Bye.